So, about 12 or so, th- uh, 13 boys go into a, thai- into a cave in Thailand. They had finished soccer practice, went into the cave. By the way, they are on YouTube now as far as an interview, and I watched it. Uh, it's very encouraging and, and heart touching, just realizing uh, how they made it. So, so, so they, go to, they played soccer, and then they decided to go to the cave. Like some pe- people just do this, and they sign their names in the cave, and you just have fun. But the rainy season was just starting, and a lot of rain came. And so, when the rain came, it came so fast that they were stuck and they were stuck in such a way that you know and i don't know if you can see the whole board but if, if this is this is flat land right but the cave was was again it had this attendant terrain and then let's say you're stuck over here you know let's say you're stuck over here in order to come out of the cave you have these puddles of water that have formed right so in order to come out you got to swim and then the water water was like coffee so you have to swim into like water that looks like coffee. You can't see here. You can't see this far. So you have to make it all the way to the end. The boys couldn't swim. That's the first issue. They can't even swim. So now not only are you going to swim, you're going to swim in a cave that, by the way, remember the verse, greater that one has no one than this, that one should lay down his life for his friends. And a Navy SEAL from the Thai, a retired Navy SEAL went to help with this mission. And he died in the process. There was one casualty. He died because his, one of his pieces fell out and he was looking for the spear and he didn't reach it on time. What's interesting is for about nine days, we didn't know where they were. Nobody knew. Everybody's wondering because they left their bikes at the entrance. So everybody's like, the boys are there. We can't find them. And then about the ninth day or so, uh, you, you could check. It was about June 22nd this happened. About the ninth day, two men fi- find themselves in the cave and they come upon people and they say how many are you and the boys said we're 13 or whatever the number was and they were like oh this is great so then the boys of course nine days you know food and all of that how do you get all of that right and so they're stuck in there these two people did that first of all i thank god that they came upon them they were not thai people part of why i'm saying this is this sometimes you will be called to minister well not minister but to help in this case help people that are nothing not related to you and that's just fine these were British divers that did this for recreation, which blows my mind why anybody goes into a cave for recreation. I mean, it just blows my mind. I mean, I st- I'm still learning how to swim. So the fact that they did it, so they found the boys. That's number one. Praise the Lord, right? These boys were about 11 years old to 14 years old. You understand? These are young boys. Well, that tells me that I can do without food for a day, right? At least you can. You know, some people are like, oh, I can't fast. Never. Oh, fasting. Oh, well, they, 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 were, they, they made it nine days. You can do it too. So anyways, that was number one. So then we found the boys. Now I, I kept up with the news and then we actually, my family prayed for them a little bit just because I was like, this is just tough. What do you do? Why? Because there was no way to get to them. Like they, in order to just get them and get them out. So they said, they said well, can we drill through the, the, can we drill through the rocks? So they started pumping out water. They, I mean, countries came together. Lots of countries. America. I mean, it, that was cool to see. And so all these people came and they were trying to help. Uh, you know, how can we help? How can we help? And that's where Elon Musk also came and said, how can we help? And he built a submarine. And the idea of the submarine was that you put each child in the submarine and then you pull them because it will be oxygenated. You pull them all the way through all these um, things of water. But you have to experience people that do it. And finally, some of the, 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 the swimmers, they found the people, they, got, they did what they needed to do. And one by one, they started bringing the boys out. It could take as much as hours to get a person out. That's how bad it was. And praise God, all the boys came out. That's great. I'll tell you why I'm telling you this story when I tell you the short second story. England, a plane is flying. They just took off. The windshield comes off. The pilot is pulled out of the plane. His, his co-workers and so on are trying to hold him on. They don't know what they're going to do. The plane is descending. And I'm sure these things might have happened a few times. But this one is actually, you could actually see the end clip of what actually, like when they landed. So, the, the, you know, the pilot is over there and they're taking turns. And it's all these things, drama going on. And finally, they land that plane. They actually landed that plane, and the pilot was alive, and they all survived. Of course, you can see in their faces a shock. Why did the windshield come off? Because somebody didn't tighten the screws right. Sometimes we think the things we do are irrelevant or not important, so we don't give our all. We give a little bit, but in the process, it can take someone's life. It can take many people's lives. So there's a part of us that needs to recognize whatever you do, do it to the glory of God. And part of that involves giving the best that you can in what you do. Some of you are doing that already. Praise the Lord. Encourage other people to recognize that. Because some people don't give their best 
in what they do. So you give your best. Why do you give your best? For the glory of God. He gets the credit. He's the one who made you. He's the one who's giving you all your tools. So praise God that that flight finally made it. Of course, the guy who didn't tighten the screw, I don't know whatever happened to him, but that would be a very difficult thing. But now how does this tie back to the Thai boys? Somebody one day probably started learning how to swim. And, and from there, he's like, oh, I want to start doing some maybe more intense swimming. And he kept going on and on, never knowing that one day those talents will be called to the forefront of saving 13 boys in a Thai cave. You don't know where you're going to go tomorrow. You don't know what your tools are going to do tomorrow. But you want to make sure that you are at the top of your game. And one of the people that blows my mind is the pilot of the Air Force One. Why does that blow my mind? Because there are many people in the Air Force. There are many people in the Armed Forces. But there is one pilot for the president. Why him? Why him? Tells you something about the effort some people put. We live in a generation where people don't like putting effort necessarily. Right? There's kids who are in Florida. One time they did a survey in algebra. 50% were failing in, in some of the districts. 50%? I don't think they were all failing because they couldn't get it. Some of it has to do with your work ethic. Are you hard working? And then here's the thing. Don't compare yourself to others. Yesterday I was praying against that. Oh yeah, well this person. No, don't compare, don't compare yourself. You keep going. Keep going. Don't slack. Don't stop. That is what it, when it's all said and done, Adolam is telling young people, pursue excellence in all that you do. Live lives of purpose and be a blessing to other people. Ben Carson, before he did his political run back in the 80s, you heard what he did with the Siamese twins. You never know when it will come, when you might have to help separate the twins. You don't know. So you do your best to be at the top of your game. Okay? No slacking. We make time. I need to stop slacking in any area I'm slacking. But I make time to seek to be the best that I can be.